Well, good morning. I had such a good sleep last night. I slept like a baby. It was a baby that sleeps well. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to ride here in Perth to Fremantle, which is like a port town about 25 kilometres up the river. So we're going to ride along the river the whole way on a bike path, bit of road, quiet roads apparently, and I'll get um, Randall to talk about that. And here's some cyclists coming past. Morning. Morning. <laughs> That's cool. Some other people going past. Hope you don't mind being in the background. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly. This is what I love about Perth. It's like the city is right here along the river. Like it comes down to the river. This is amazing. It's just got this really nice feel and energy to it. And the, the river's really wide and we're going to see more of that today. So we're going to ride all the way there. Not do too much stopping. Apparently there's a really, really old, the oldest building, I think. Randall will say, but in um, WA maybe or in Perth. Um, check that out and then ride back. So it should be maybe about a 50 to 60 kilometre ride. But yeah, you can explain more, Randall. Okay. <laughs> yep, we'll be riding from uh, the city here along the river to Fremantle, which is a port city. That's where all the boats come in and everything. And then we'll ride back along the south side of the river. There'll be uh, lots of hills, thrills, and hopefully no spills. <laughs> There's lots of hills. Oh, actually, I just remembered as you were saying that, that this is where I went uh, when I took, went to Rottnest Island the other day, I caught the ferry from here, went along the river to Fremantle, where we're going. So, yep. yeah, so you could actually, you could ride from Perth to Fremantle, then catch the ferry. Yeah. Then catch the ferry across to Rottnest Island. Yeah. That's a good idea, actually. That would be fun to do. Oh, there's a ferry going across. <laughs> I hope these people don't mind being on camera. <laughs> That's a cool, that's a folding bike. Sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> There's another person. There's so many cyclists, it's cool. Got busy. This is really cool, this is really cool. Okay, all right, let's do it. Let's get on our bikes and go. So I need to just stretch my legs. I need to go fast. So tell me where to ride to and I'll turn around, ride fast and I'll come back and then I'll ride. <laughs> That's so cool. That was really steep coming down. Now to go back up, that was really cool. <laughs> I've left Randall at the top. He found this. He goes, go down there and come back up. That'll get your legs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, <sighs> 
much better. I turned to Randall. I got to get in my legs. I got to do something because I'm like, like a dog. I leave my legs like, come on, come on. And he's like, he found a couple of climbs and then he's like, here's one, go down there and come back up. I don't know what gradient that was, 20 something, 20 something. Very steep. <laughs> That's good. Rather you than me. It's really wet all of a sudden. It's raining. But look at the big boat. I need window wipers on my glasses. <laughs> some kind of crime here, as this was not a convict colony. There's no convicts here. Everybody that arrived here in the, for the first 30 years of the colony existence were all migrants. Really? Yes. So, because I thought that every part of, um, how I just turn? This is interesting because I thought that, so this is the oldest building in Western Australia. And I thought, in South Australia, everyone says South Australia is the only state in Australia that was settled by pioneers. I did not know that. So, so people... South Australia and the Swan River Colony were the only two places where there was no convicts in the beginning. Eventually, after about 30 or 40 years, there was some low-level law breakers. They were not convicts. They were people who had been convicted of a main, a very minor uh, misdemeanor, like stealing a loaf of bread. They came over here, but they never in here. They never built their own prison. prison at the other end of town. This was purely a prison for people who did something wrong here. And this, is, this prison is the oldest building. It is the oldest building in Western Australia. In Western Australia. Shall we say... Historically, it's the oldest public building in Western Australia. Cool. If we go around the back, we can see where they fire a cannon, so we'll go and check that out. But I...
typical uh, traditional Italian sort of cafe. <laughs> I was just saying to Randall, I'm like, I feel like we're in Melbourne, not Perth. It's like raining and then sunny. I can't even see. I've got, <laughs> I still need those window wipers. It's like raining and sunny, then raining, then sunny. Okay, you might be able to see right mess just over there, just behind the red lighthouse. Then you've got Karnak Island down there, which is full of snakes. The Snake Island. The Snake Island. And then you've got Garden Island, where you see the white sand there. And here's uh, an old gun emplacement. Used to be a big defensive system here. Guns here, guns over there, and Rottnest Island had a few huge guns. Mm, so, yeah, I saw those. Yeah, they did a when I saw it. That was, was massive. Pro, was to protect, and there's guns on a few hills around here too, and they're to protect the harbour from being a ship coming in and blowing them to bits, sort of thing. It was like a defensive uh, network of guns. So this was this is one that where the guns used to be. Unfortunately, they saw all these guns for scrap. You can see where they used to go. But the ones at Rottnest are still there because it cost too much to scrap them and get them to the mainland again. Check this out, it's like rainbow. Let's get inside the rainbow. Oh, all right, down here. It's a rainbow container. It's like, it's a container. Turned into a rainbow. It was so cool. But we're going to head back now. Yep. Yep. So we're going to go from. But we're going to go down the other side of the river. On the south side. Yep. Yeah. And how different is that? Different? Um, not really. It sticks to the river a bit more, and uh, it's up and down and around a bit. But it's really nice ride. Yeah. yeah. You'll like it. And I think we've got a, the ta the wind behind us. Yeah, we have tailwind. Yes, southwester. Perfect. We're going to be going fast. <laughs> it's been really fun just exploring and looking around. And um, yeah, it's quite, it reminds me of um, Port Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's got all these little creative, these really cool random things, lots of old buildings and stuff. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this. And it's such a cool um, like day trip, isn't it? Yeah, to come out. Yeah. yeah. Our people in Perth love coming down to Fremantle. Yeah. And look around. And it's a sunny day now, which is good. It's raining and then being sunny and then rain. It's like, oh, we're not in Melbourne, we're in Perth. <laughs> but yeah, the one thing didn't have fish and chips. We'll get them. <laughs> we should have had they're fish coming. and chips when we were there. <laughs> I can see you really want fish and chips. <laughs> or chips, chips at least. Chips at least, yeah. All right, we'll ride back and uh, yeah, show you what you, show you what it's like along the way. That'll be cool. Okay. <laughs> you have to see this. I'm like, oh, that's cool. The dog. I'm like, oh, okay. It looks like it's doing a poop. And then I kept walking. And look, somebody's tied a... <laughs> that is hilarious.
guys, that was so cool. That was so, so cool. So it went from Perth to Fremantle on one side of the river and then from Fremantle back to Perth on the other side of the river. And it was about 62 kilometers, I think. Actually, I rode a little bit more because because when we were riding, I said to Randall initially at the start, I've got to get into my legs. I've got to do something. I've got to like do something because it's so, so flat. He's like, there's some climbs. And then he found me some climbs. He said, just go down that street and then come back up. And I'm like, this is really good. It got into my lungs and my legs. So, but there is, on the way there, there is a little bit of climbing. So it's not, because the cycling infrastructure here is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's just amazing. Like, I'm just blown away by it. It's just, when we were coming back then and all the traffic, and the roads and all that, all of that. But then here we are in a completely separated bike lane that just keeps going and it's so safe. And it's, it's just really well um, signed and paved and everything. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to be riding along the coast. So come along and check that out. And let's just see if Randall has any final words to say to you. Uh, final words, um, she loves riding really fast and I'm not fast enough. So I'll let her go off and back again a few times. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, yeah, we'll go down, go up the coast We'll do another hill climb at Rear Bold Hill and I'll make Serafina go up a few times to wear her out and then we'll just follow the coast until we get to a point where we can cut across to a train station and catch a train home. That's the plan. Awesome, awesome. See you tomorrow. <laughs>